Hey, uh, what you doing? Oh, I'm just sitting here downloading some files onto my Chromebook. You do, that, that's not how this, that's not how those work. What do you mean? It's, it's a computer. That's how they work. Uh, hold on. We're going to meet the tech guy. Hey, tech guy. What's up? He's trying to download things to a Chromebook. He's downloading things to a Chromebook? That's not how... I got it. What's up, HTPS? Brad Spence, back again with a wait. How do I do that? And today, we are going to talk about the Chromebooks. I know a lot of you have gotten them. They're great, and at times, they're frustrating. So we're going to cover some of the most common questions and problems we've been seeing and hopefully give you some tips and tricks to problem solve at home so you guys can access your learning and continue to have a great time in our digital environment. Um, but first, what we need to do is kind of talk about what a Chromebook is for those of you who don't know. So we're going to toss it over to our tech guy. Hey, tech guy, you know, I really wish you would stop doing that and just call me on the phone. Anyway, Chromebooks, they're wonderful, they're great for accessing our learning, but the thing about a Chromebook is, is it's not a full computer. A Chromebook is really just a glorified tablet or cell phone. There is not much memory in these and especially nothing you can download on. What they're made for is accessing the internet. That's why all of HCPS's environments for learning are housed in the cloud. These are not made to download files, to run programs. They are made to use the Google Chrome browser to access the internet, access our Microsoft 365 suite, and its learning and anything else your teachers may provide you via the internet and the cloud for your learning. Is that what you needed? So, let's get into some of the more common problems we've been seeing with our Chromebooks. And the first one is the multiple different color screens and the inability to access and you're getting an error message and things like that. A lot of times that is the computer not being able to communicate with your at-home router. And while it is an issue, there's a simple solution that may take a few minutes, but it works. And it comes from your router at home. What you need to do is unplug the router, completely shut the router down for five minutes. Then plug it back in and come all the way back onto your Chromebook and you should not have that error anymore. I know that's frustrating, I know that's not the perfect answer, but that is the biggest solution we found to that multicolored screen DHCP error that we've been having. Another issue we've been, oh. Another issue we've been seeing is the headphones are not working. And the solution to that we found is, plug your headphones into your Google Chromebook, shut it all the way down with the headphones still plugged in, and start it back up again with the headphones still plugged in. That should allow the device and your headphones to communicate and should work just fine. This also goes for those of you who in the secondary level are still using Windows devices and not our Google Chromebooks. Same problem, same solution. Another thing we've been seeing is people's batteries dying. Um, the batteries are really good in these because they're new devices. So for the most part, the battery life shouldn't be a problem. But some tips and tricks you have, make sure at night you're charging it all the way up, shut it down, charge, plug it in, charge it, throw it in your bag if you're leaving. Um, if you're having it unplugged, when we have our lunch breaks, when we walk away, when you have your breaks in between class, clamshell it, shut it down. That'll save your battery and you won't run out by the end of the day. And our last tip and trick is regarding sometimes Google Chrome's just not working right, we're not being able to log in, things just aren't connecting correctly when we are logged in and we can't get to certain points of our website, and that comes from routinely clearing our browser history and clearing the browser. So let's jump in to Google Chrome and I'll show you how to do that. So we're in Google Chrome. From Google Chrome, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the three dots. Click the three dots and go all the way down to settings. You're gonna click settings, it's gonna open up a new window for you. In settings, you're gonna scroll down till you can find clear browser history. Let's say right there, boom, click on it, okay? And then it's gonna say, how long do you wanna uh, clear it for? I like to sit there, if you're gonna do it once a week, you can go up and set it for every seven days, for the last seven days, hit clear, boom, you're done. You've cleared your browser history, things should roll a little bit faster from that point. So hopefully we've addressed a few of the little issues that we've been having with the Chromebooks. They are great machines, 
They are good for accessing our learning, um, but remember they are not full computers, so you can't download a lot to them, really nothing at all, but you can use the internet, and that's what they're made for. Uh, if you have questions, continue to comment on these videos or send them into us, and we can help as best we can. We're gonna get through this, we're doing a great job. Hope you guys are well.